So, what a thing to wake up to. So these are the new swim manoeuvres that the Water Whisperer has been showing me. Yeah. It's snowing outside, is it? Let's see. Oh, that's just frost. Look at that. Look how cold it is. It looks like it's been snowing everywhere. It's white. It's snowing white. Yeah. Come and see it. Whoa. <laughs> oh, she gets excited when she sees the lead. Come on, bully, go for a little walk. Sit down, nice. Sit down. <laughs> it's a good girl. Go on, bully. Go for nice walkies. Enjoy your walk. My dog walking attire. Lovely. <laughs> I mean business. Go, 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 go. <laughs> It was cold last night, so the concrete that I put down, it did have antifreeze in it, and I've covered it up, of course, because they do recommend not letting the frost come down on it. So, time will tell. Let's have a little look how it turned out. I'm hoping them chemicals I put in it actually worked. <laughs> and it hasn't just all broken up. Yeah, that's fine now, that is perfect. So, it's still what they call in the industry as being green, meaning there's still obviously water content in it and it's still soft enough to be able to give it a little bit of a buffing up. We're not trying to get this level because that's higher than what that is and we want the water running that way and it's also running that way to the curb there. So we're kind of just kind of shaping it into all the different levels that we've got all around us. And the best thing we can do to this is just buff it up and give it a kind of a, I don't want to use the word rough finish, but a rough finish. <laughs> oh well, the hell so started. So give it a bit of a polishing up. I think we have to call it a day. Unless the sunshine rapidly turns up. Black, grey clouds over there. And lovely blue skies over there so my concrete work outside has uh, come to a grinding stop unfortunately the heavens have just opened all around us so it's rubbish but uh, on a more positive note the boys did finish off the blocks just on the entrance door there of the actual new office and they did get along there all the way to the bottom all finished and even at the back over our beautiful concrete print wall that was complete do you want to say what? Uncle Stephen getting cuddles off you, Lenin. We Very love cuddles, don't we? Hey. Lenin. Give up, give up Uncle Stephen the cut. Big cuddles. Oh, my oh, God. Give him a bad pat. Oh. No, he wants off now. Thank you. <laughs> he wants to see the snow. We made a video. Shovel on. Ready, So, we've got a dilemma. I don't know if anyone's ever experienced this before. Laura has ordered uh, three dresses from a company called Coast. Uh, most girls will have heard of it. Uh, a couple of nights ago, we got an email to say that the three parcels have been delivered at 7.30 that evening. And they sent us a photograph of the parcel outside a front door, which wasn't our front door. <laughs> okay. So we looked up and down our entire road. There's probably 60, 70 houses. None of them was that front door that the picture was on. We could tell the way it was and the style and the mat and everything outside. Then, when we look back at the details on there, Laura had put in our full address, um, name of the road, etc., and the, the number of the street and full postcode. When the email comes through, it says it's been delivered to a place called Eccleston Park, which is the little area that we live in, yeah? It didn't have a road name, and it didn't have a house number. That's what it said on it. So no, it they've road, made. It had the road name. Oh, it, it had, had the, road the postcode. Name, and it had the postcode. And it had my name. It had your name. But it didn't have the house number. Didn't have the house number on it. But Laura did put it on the thing and it is on there as, as we can back it up. So now we've contacted them and they have told us that we have to go to the police and report it stolen. Well, my argument is one, why should we have to do that? Two, isn't that a total waste of police's time? 
because in my opinion, it's not been stolen. It's been misplaced by their driver or their uh, dispatch company. They're not even willing to follow it up with their dispatch company. We have to put a claim in for it. Our time and our, our costs, in obviously. For them to issue any sort of refund. Yeah. Or for them to look into it further to raise it with the courier company. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. So what's your thoughts on that? Has anyone had this experience before? If so, please let us know in and the also, comments. also, don't yeah. shop at Coast. Because <laughs> their customer service is terrible. Laura's had about 20 emails Zero back and forth. Stars. And it is actually like talking to a robot. Because when you're actually explaining things, they're coming back with the basic questions. Oh, have you checked outside your door? Have you checked this? Do you know, you know what, what, Coast? I'm going to call you out like again. That. You don't have a phone number. Yeah. What does that say? Shame on you, Coast. Shame on you, Coast. <laughs> so it turns out on this Friday night, it's our Christmas wake do. So the, the boys dressed up, look. Wow. Don't know if you see these all dressed up, look. <laughs> now, sadly, Darlene couldn't make it, but they brought her prawns. So we're all going to have a prawn in your honour. <laughs> so who's going to have Darlene's first prawn? Darlene. Oh, Steve. It's what you would have wanted. It's pretty much like prawns. I apologise, Dolly. I really, really do. Apologise. Oh, <laughs> so meals arrived. Still going strong and sensible. Well, some of us. <laughs> oh, I'm documenting this because I'm not documenting any of this. Yeah, Cheese board looks good, Benny. You tasty? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we got Nick. So obviously we've got a butch cake. Butch cake. Steven. Not much left. Mm. Jake, what are you having? Oh, the fudge cake. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So why did you pick fudge cake? Why did I pick fudge cake? It's beautiful, man. <laughs> Jen, what are you having? Uh, lemon Millard. Mm. Looks good. Lovely. I don't even know what I'm having. Lord, you miss it all the time in the Champions League. This is what it's resorted to. The World Cup penalty shootout with who? Holland and Argentina. Holland and Argentina. Holland and Argentina. The girls are really uh, intense about it, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> But if he scores now, it's over, isn't it? It's just a waiting game. What are you that's a good yeah, thing to be fair. Amazing yeah, stuff like Who's, who's going to take the winning bet? Glad you came out. Is it Dean Maria? Is Dean Maria going to score the winning bet? You'll be, he's been told more, uh, no, so nice. I don't know who this is to be fair. Um, amazing. <laughs> 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 if he scores, though, he's done. Is this finished yet? One pen. Not yet, not yet. The score's this, it's good. I'm looking for ball. Yeah. 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 Yeah
Listen, I only know, I only know because you just told me. I love you. I have no clue what you had. But apparently we had a drink in this very room and we sat here seven years ago. We all stayed over that night and we've never been home since. <laughs> <laughs> Back home and Sydney's got some new company <laughs> and she's never met. What's up, Bully? What's up, Bully Face? <laughs> just enjoying the petting. What's up, Bully Face? What's up, Bully? I don't think she did. Did you feed her before? <laughs> Great, did you feed her?